Hi guys, in this video we're going to simplify the bandeja. Now, if you've come relatively recently to paddle and you're not Spanish, you'll be wondering what the bandeja is. And really the name has come from, it means tray, and this is really a kind of older look at how they used to hit the shot with a racket in this position to come through and hit the bandeja like this. The name obviously stuck and now people across the world are using bandeja for this shot. You'll notice in a lot of the videos I refer to it as a defensive smash because it's often hit in a position with the purpose of getting the net back. But for this video, we're gonna break down this technique and explain when you would use it. To begin with this technique, first of all, obviously from your ready position, as soon as you see it's a lob, like you would do for most smashes, you would go back into this position, immediately turn your shoulders, turn your hips, and prepare as if you're gonna move backwards, almost sidestepping, which is faster than moving backwards like this, you want to go straight into this position with the racket up high, the racket pointing to the sky, the face of the racket pointing to the side of the court. The left arm needs to be up. It doesn't necessarily need to point at the ball, but you need to keep it up so that your chest stays up and your shoulders are up like this. You then want to move your feet back into the position that you can judge that ball, that you contact in front of your body so that you can continue to keep your momentum forward. Like we mentioned, the point is so that you can get your neck position back. So if your body weight is going forward, it's going to be much easier for you to do that. And then after that contact and follow through, you keep the follow through nice and controlled, short, and then move back into your position. So just to recap, from your ready position, that racket comes up like this, you're going to move back into position and then you're going to contact about eye level, forehead level. It's almost like a high forehand volley to come through the ball and then get your body weight back moving forward up the court. Now, at the beginning, you're going to find it very difficult, especially if you're from tennis, to get that contact to the side of the body at eye level, forehead level, as opposed to contacting up here. If you contact up here, then you're going to find that the trajectory of the ball is too low like this and it's going to bounce, hit the glass and then come up. Whereas where the contact is like this to the side, it's going to stay lower off that glass and it's going to be more difficult for them to defend. One of the best ways you can practice this bandeja is take a bag of balls or if you have a basket of balls, even better, and just to throw the ball up for yourself. Like in tennis, you have a ball toss up in front of yourself you start the racket up high, like you would do for the bandeja, your side onto the court, throw the ball up, and just control that ball so that ideally you get the second bounce in that corner. At a nice easy speed, you can see that my contact is about eye or head level, and I'm just going nicely through the ball, controlling that ball. That is really the best way to practice. If you can hit 100 of those, then you're going to obviously have a lot more confidence when it comes to the match. If we're looking at when you should be using this shot, if you're new to paddle, you've probably come out here and any lob that goes up, you're trying to belt it for a winner, trying to hit it past your opponent. And if you're from tennis, then you're definitely trying to do that because in tennis, that's the objective. Any lob that goes up, you're trying to hit it past your opponent. Now, if you're playing with other players that are probably relatively new to the game, you're probably getting away with it a few times because they haven't realized that they can let it bounce off that back glass, come forward, wait for it, and then hit a winner past you yourself. So, when the game gets to that level, you then have to start saying to yourself, right, I need to be more selective with the balls that I smash. And if it's deeper, I need to be a bit more sensible and retain my court position. And that is exactly when you would use the bandeja. So, if that lob goes up and it's not at the front of the net and you can't finish that point straight away, and it's a bit deeper and you want to keep your net position, this is when you would do that. You put the racket up nice and high. You hit almost like a nice high forehand volley with controlled speed coming down the ball slightly into the corner of the court, forcing them to the back corners of the court or down to the center and giving yourself enough time to get back up to that net position. If from here you try and hit hard and flat, Firstly, you don't have time to get back up to your net position, but also more than likely you're giving your opponents a relatively easy ball to hit. So here's an example of the bandeja in action. So off this lob, immediately turns sideways, sidestepping back, the racket goes up, chest is up, and he controls that ball at about forehead level down to the feet of the volleyer. And it's important to notice his fast recovery to net means we hold the net position. I've explained a good way to practice this if you've got a basket of balls, but it's also really important that you practice this during a match. 
I know you might not have confidence in the shot, but the only way to build that up is to really continue to practice. So when you go out to the games, continue to try and hit nice control bandejas into the corners of the court. And once you get it, you'll realize that it's so good for controlling the speed of the game and also keeping the net position, which for you is the most dominant position on the court. Once you've got this simple technique and you're feeling confident, I would then go to other bandeja videos so that you can perfect that technique and work on different areas that will make you hit a better shot.